Hello Cancers, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next person coming towards you in love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. The next person coming towards Cancer, please. The next person in love coming towards Cancer. All right, we have the King of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant in the reverse, the Death, the Lovers, and the Nine of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy. So, with you cancer i do feel like this is a past energy coming towards you um and i do feel like this is somebody who was either like had some kind of really big lesson to learn or like had a hard time with commitment right whether they were just non-committal in general uh like whether they were somebody who just had a hard time being faithful in connections or there's somebody they had a hard time getting into serious connections in the first place where they just didn't want anything to do with that, right? Didn't want to touch a commitment with a 10-foot pole. You know, that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. Now, I feel like somebody had some kind of connection with you, even if they were in a relationship with you, even if they were committed to you, it could feel like um, the idea of taking something to the next level, right? So maybe like they dated you for a long time, but the idea of moving in together was like, I don't, I can't do that. Or the idea of getting married or getting engaged, like I don't, I can't do that. You know, it could be something like that as well. Now, the thing is here is we have this Ace of, the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck being influenced by this Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. I feel like somebody has seen here that in the past, like they, something has to change here if they're wanting something new with you, if they're wanting this new opportunity with you, because they could feel like things didn't really go well in the past and that they could feel like it's because they really didn't put the effort in that they could have. And I feel like they see that. They see where their effort was lacking, right? Um, like, man, if I would have done this or I would have done that or I would have just tried this, you know, maybe everything could have been different. Maybe it all could have worked out differently. I do feel like somebody is coming into this connection or this reconnection, I should say, coming back towards you, um, ready to give more than they have in the past, okay? Um, th they are ready to do that here, absolutely. Uh, so let's keep going. Now, the way that this person is viewing you, they could be viewing you as somebody who is very solid, stable, really has their stuff together, somebody who's very dependable, somebody who is looking for a solid, serious, committed relationship. They could be looking at you as somebody that they want that with, that they want to spend their life with, that they want to have that kind of a connection with here. Now, this Three of Pentacles energy as their feelings. The Three of Pentacles can be a card of potential. Um, it really is here because you can see it's the only card in the tarot that has pentacles that are not yet gold. And it's because it, it's, it speaks about the potential that they have, right? This is coming together to create something together, to be on the same page. How can we do this? How can we work on this? You know, it's a card of collaboration and working together and getting along um, and, and working towards the same goal. And I feel like this is like, they're feeling like I'm ready to do that. I'm, I, I may not know exactly how to get past some of these fears I have, um, but I'm ready to do that now. I'm ready to work on it with you. I'm ready to figure it out with you. I really like that. So we do have the hair font here in the reverse. Um, but to me, with this is coming up as intentions, it's like intending to do something differently. Um, intending to like learn the lesson, intending to to make this change, especially because we have the death card here as the challenge. Um, the death card, you know, is you know, change and transformation. Um, with it coming up in the challenge, it's like a, there's a resistance here. They've always had this resistance to making some big change or taking some big step here. Um, 
but I feel like that's something that like, you know, I still feel this fear. I still feel this, um, this resistance, um, but I'm ready to try to make a change. And you can see that here with that death energy. You can see that with that intention to change. You can see that here with that six of pentacles, this three of pentacles. It's really nice. You guys, um, get the lover's energy here for their next action. So the lovers can talk about just the bond that you guys share, okay? And they do, you know, they could feel like there is, uh, I'm gonna cover them up because the longer I show them, the, the uh, more you two is gonna yell at me. But we have this giant mountain here in between the two of them and this space that like they're kind of reaching for each other, but they're not quite touching. This person can know that there's a, lo there's a lot that's happened here. Um, maybe because of whatever's happened between the two of you in the past or past behaviors and actions um, or the way that they used to be and the things that they still have to overcome. So it's like they still see that there's some space here between the two of you. They still see that there are some challenges that need to be overcame. But I feel like this is them making that decision that this connection is worth it enough to do it, to go for it, to try. I really like that. Okay, I really do. And then we have the nine of cups for the potential outcome, feeling happy, content, satisfied, wish fulfillment. And um, the nine of cups is also, I, I always see this as like support. Okay. So I feel like this person feels very supported in this decision with you and you feel very supported by them. I think that this has a lot of potential here. Um, a lot of potential here. So the signs I'm seeing for you, I see uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces. Those are signs I'm seeing, but it could be any. It is a general reading. So even if I did not mention a specific sign, this reading can definitely still resonate for you. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that it helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all that's in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.